The uh, uh, Mr. Jeremy Buckingham. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, my question, without notice, is to the Honourable Noel Blair, Minister for Primary Industries, Land and Water. Minister, have you ever toured the site of the proposed Shenhua Watermark coal mine? Shenhua, that's right. And what impact will the mine have on the water resources and agricultural productivity of the Liverpool Plains? Officially, or to go and turn the taps on? Why don't you read the report? Has he ever been? Order. What does he think? Uh, stop <laughs> have you been? That's the question. I have. I have. Mr. President, New South Wales has the most rigorous assessment process for mining developments in the country. Yeah, yeah. The development assessment process for major projects is based on an assessment of the merits of each individual project proposed. Yeah, yeah. The level of impact assessment and review is commensurate with to the potential risks posed by the project. Oh. In addition, the decision maker has the power to impose conditions on a project approval to constrain the way activities are undertaken on a site or to require the impacts to be monitored so they can be measured and verified. In recognition of the Liverpool Plains as a productive agricultural region, the Shenhua Watermark Exploration Licence application includes a special condition, the purpose of which is to ensure that the most fertile agricultural lands are protected from mining. Application of strategic regional land use policy to the Watermark project has resulted in large distances between the mine and the Black Soil Plains and the primary alluvial aquifer. Relocation of the projects by diversity offset areas to avoid strategic agricultural land and preparation of detailed agricultural impact assessments reviewed by the Gateway Panel and a suite of conditions to ensure that the water and agricultural resources of the project are protected. During the New South Wales-based assessment of Shenhua's de uh, development application, a number of independent groundwater experts reviewed the groundwater modelling. The reviews found that the mine would not have a significant impact on groundwater and, in particular, the high-value high value alluvial aquifers. The Shenhua project has also been subject to further scrutiny at the Commonwealth level under the Environment, Pro Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act 1999. The advice from the independent order, expert. Point of order. Mr. Jeremy Buckingham. Point of order, Mr. President. Point of order. The point of order is to relevance. My question stated, Mr. Oh. President, uh, specifically, uh, uh, specifically asked whether or not the minister had toured the proposed site. That was and only the, part of and, your and, question. Well, it was a key part. It was the first part, part, of Mr. Your question. Part of your question. There was a whole order uh, on the, the honourable Duncan Gay on the point of order. I presume uh, he was asking in that respect. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, I was going to indicate that that wasn't the only part yes. of the question. The substantial part of the question was to do with with the water. Correct. Point to the point of and order. Mr. That's the answer that's Mr. coming. Mr. Jeremy Buckingham. I would argue, Mr. Order. President, that the substantial part was whether or not the Minister for Agriculture in New South Wales had visited the proposed site of the Shenhua watermark yes. and I think an answer in that regard is most relevant. I, I think, look, uh, the, I think, um, uh, Mr Jeremy Buckingham, uh, you've uh, made your debating point through the point of order, uh, which is what it was. The minister was quite in order. Uh, whether the minister, in what particular order the minister chooses to ask an answer or whether he chooses to answer it at all is not a matter on which the president can intervene. As long as the minister is providing relevant information uh, and is not debating the question, then the minister is order, in an order. And the minister was doing neither of those things. The Honourable Niall Blair. Here, here. Uh, Thank you, Mr President. You're in Canada. The advice from the Independent Expert Scientific Committee confirmed that the groundwater model and supporting information is appropriate and found that it is more likely to overestimate than underestimate impacts to high value water resources. Our government is committed to the sustainable management of our groundwater resources and the regulatory framework we have introduced around the mining and gas industries in New South Wales will ensure the necessary level of protection. Oh, shame on you, Niall. Shame on the you. Report, the order, Snuck order, the order, 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 both honourable members, order, both honourable members will cease interjecting. Order, order, the honourable member is skating on very thin ice. <laughs> the 
Honourable Ernest Wall.